Okay, welcome back to the channel. So, sorry, Token Graphite, bring out announcements today. Um, breakthrough 99.8% graphite purity. <laughs> Highlight low temperature alkaline roasting, proved to 99.7. Alternative chemical purification. It's probably what you don't want chemicals, probably acid. Uh, combining both, they can get to this here. So, it's okay, but this company who I think is a better buy personally um, both on price at the moment and on assets so I uh, find this thing this is an example 9.9.99 percent purity um, and I believe that's with an alkaline process if I can just bring that one up for you alkaline Corsic baking, autoclave, Corsic leach method. Eliminate the use of hydrofluoric acid. So, I'm not sure of what they're talking about acids. Forgive me, but you have to do your own research there. But I know ITM can do it without acid, and <clears throat> I don't think Saratoga can. So they got 99.97%. Also, this company have this big thing. It's probably the same size resource as Saratoga give or take, uh, obviously lower grade, but they're in South Australia. Heaps of wind, heaps of solar and batteries around there, all established. Um, yeah, so in my opinion, better buy it. And also, but Saratoga, 40 million, ITM. Apologize for this. So 36 million, they got about the same amount of cash. They just did a capital raising as well. Uh, they've also got a Jork resource. So they have existing small resource here, Jork, already drilled it out. This one they've drilled a few times. It's got to drill it more to expand. So I say a bit cheaper than Saratoga, probably better location. Although who knows, most of this stuff probably is going to China to get to electric vehicles. These guys have to ship from Australia. These guys are what I say here in between China and things so who knows it's cheaper um, don't really care you could go well on both these companies it seems we're gonna need a lot of graphite and you're gonna need this mine to get in production in 2030, 2035 you'll need this you need every mine in production pretty much if it goes if we stay with anode in the cat in the sorry graphite in the anode and it just stays that way there's no other better solutions there is sodium ion batteries coming um, and they don't use graphite, they use hard carbon so they don't use graphite from the ground which is the main feed source for the anodes of the lithium ion battery so could go well with both these companies uh, this one's also got a big resource, high grade Kazakhstan, so maybe it's cheap labor there maybe the grade gives them a little edge on uh, operational costs they don't have to dig as much um, but I think they're roughly, they're not as good. Only 2Ks in power lines. So not not bad as well. Pretty good company. Could go well. Um, personally, I'm not going to buy on a little bit of hype. Because this will probably dwindle. Look what happened there. Just windles back down. Um, I thought there was a bit of inside trading here. They probably found out they're going to make this announcement. Some guy at the company told his son. He told his friend. It went up. And they've had a good day today, like, wow, we made this. But really, reality, this company's got a long way to go. They have to drill out. Um, wait for the actual need for the graphite, because right now we don't need that graphite. There's heaps around. And, yeah, so I see this could dwindle back down. It could keep going. But not buying on just a announcement. It's probably the worst time to buy. Um, not always the worst time, because some companies have announcements and they drill more, etc., but a likely scenario could be wrong probably wrong make your own opinion so that's this SGA so yeah a lot of graphite companies out there do you want to pick the best my best bet is probably ITM why because they're in a really good location the next to Renescore who are 500 million dollar probably 700 million dollar company now um, so I think this company will go from it's 40 million to a billion 
in due time, uh, 2026, uh, lithium went crazy. Sorry, lithium went crazy. 2026 could be the year that graphite goes crazy when we go into shortfall. And instead of selling for $1,000, you can get $3,000 for it. Meaning instead of making $100 million a year, you're making $300 million a year. And therefore your company, instead of being worth $1 billion, is worth $3 billion. You get the idea. You're making more money, you cost more money to buy your company. So it could happen with graphite. Seems likely. Might not go as high as lithium, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's what they suspect will need. We'll have a shortfall of graphite. And therefore, the companies who are going to get out of the ground or about to get out of the ground will probably get re-rated, uh, like what happened to lithium. So, I have heaps of videos on graphite, um, a few on lithium, WR1, if I just go to them. So, I like to buy small companies like this. They pretty much have a resource already, already drawn a few times, in the battery demand, uh, battery material sector and they just got to drill it out and yeah sometimes they go pretty well so ooh, we're at 200 million dollar mark cap now wr1 another i'm not sure happened today but another 17 percent so maybe they've hit more stuff drilling um who knows so another crappy video but saratogan will i buy it yes probably if it goes back to around 25 cents i'll put a bit of money in there because i think this will go well, ITM will go well, and who knows, maybe one goes better than the other. You don't know, but really good feeling about ITM. Probably second place would be ID6. They don't have quite a big resource, but they got a big enough one to do a 10 to 20 year mine life, and they got the downstream. They're actually more expensive than ITM. Um, they're a good one as well. Ooh, 47 million mark cap. So, let's leave this video at that and see you later.